Hello, welcome to Washington, and even though I can't be with you in person today, it's a pleasure to welcome you to our nation's capital. Under the bright lights of Carnegie Hall, you've been living the dream of so many artists, the dream of performing on our nation's most famous stage. And as you prepare to visit Europe, we in the Congressional Arts Caucus couldn't be more proud of what you've achieved. When I was a student at the University of Kentucky, I had the honor of singing in a band called Tinker Baggerly and his orchestra. I loved it. I grew up in a family of musicians, and to be able to stand on a stage with the orchestra behind you and to hear the music rise, there are no words to describe it. In the years since, I've been proud to serve in Congress and advocate for the next generation of our musicians and artists. Art tells us who we were, who we are, and who we hope to be. And that's an incredible gift. Music and art bring beauty, enlightenment, and hope to millions of people throughout the world. And that's why I'm so excited that you'll be sharing America's greatest artistic gifts in Russia and Great Britain in the weeks to come. As you begin your tour, please know that the members of the Congressional Arts Caucus will be with you in spirit. We look forward to seeing broadcasts of your concert and I know that your experience with the National Youth Orchestra will remain with you forever. And I hope that when you return to your hometowns that you will join me as a lifelong advocate for the arts in the United States. Congratulations to you all of your accomplishments so far and to my own constituent, Martine Thomas, for representing the great city of Rochester, New York. Martine, all of us back home are awfully proud of you. To everyone, I wish you the best of luck on stage and thank you again for sharing your musical talents with the world.